to tonight's game. The Belfast Giants have owned the whole Stingrays for four years. 21 wins in a row in all competitions, all of them in regulation. Is tonight the night the whole Stingrays finally get the upper hand? It looks like now we're finally ready for the game to begin. So, Steph Hogarth has the puck. We're ready for hockey on a Saturday night. It's Stingrays and Giants. And it's Keith who plays the first puck forward. And Tom Ralph putting in the first big hit. That puck was played with a high stick. And so we get a whistle. So Come back to Sandrock. We know he can blast them. He does. It bounces out to Keith. Oh, and he fanned on it. And then Lloyd put the rebound wide. And Brown has scrambled back and covered up. Best chance of the game. Pass from Tanaka, doesn't clear the zone. Peacock around the net, moves it onto his forehand, fires it in, the puck's under the pads of Brown, and he's able to squeeze the puck dead. Stuck underneath him, everyone was jabbing at it. And the Giants have worked their way out. Kevin Phillips, got in a little bit of a tangle with Westgarth. And that attack kind of broke down for the Giants. Peacock will try and get it restarted. And Turcotte with the hit, which draws a penalty. And the crowd are not going to be happy with that at all. Did he make the hit a little too soon? Is it going to be an interference? Well, let's take another look at it. Two big men going shoulder to shoulder. Well, it's cost Turcotte two minutes. And the Giants... Oh, back on the front foot again, big slap shot, blocked in front and put it on the backhand by Peacock. A power play opener for the Belfast Giants and it just fell perfectly for Craig Peacock. Lows on, spins and shoots! And scores! Finally a face-off that goes the Stingrays way and they take full advantage. It was Lowe's on shot. Not sure if it caught someone on the way through. The Stingrays won't mind whose name's attached to it. They have tied this game up late on in the first period. Suwada was not able to get onto the pass from Elfring. It was fired in and a little too hot to handle. Chevery, nice hands. Oh, and then he got nothing on the shot. Final few seconds. Save is made by Brown, and that should do it for the first period. Indeed, it does. And the whole Stingrays and Belfast Giants are tied at the end of the first period. We're ready to go now in the second period. Both teams are at even strength. We're ready for the puck to drop and the action to get back underway on Holsting Race TV. It's Elite League action on a Saturday night. And Lozon will try again. Frederick. That's a nice little pass to Lozon. Got Tanaka in support. Lozon shoots and true back saves and keeps the puck close by. It was a weak one that did make its way through to Brown, but he had plenty of time to see it and kick it away. And now Knox with a little bit of room. Oh, and he just lost the handle of the puck as he was trying to go around Brookwell. Keeps it himself and then came out front. And the little backhand attempt had to be stopped. And Knox didn't let that frustration of the bobble get away from him, affect him too much. Took the Giants a little by surprise, thought it was probably going to skate it around the perimeter. And cut up center ice. And Chewback was ready and waiting for him. Round for Peacock. Brookwell can't knock it down. The Stingrays will try and break. Galbraith tough to bring down, and when he is brought down, it results in a penalty. So the Stingrays are going to have a power play for the first time tonight. 
said earlier in the game that when Cal Braith gets moving, he's tough to stop. And that took everything that Peacock had to offer. <laughs> like the sort of horse collar tackle you see in the NFL. And Peacock will sit on the naughty step for a couple of minutes. So it's two minutes for holding. And the Stingrays power play out for the first time tonight. Of course, no Omar Pasha. Stingrays power play has been improved in recent weeks. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. That one is going to be called on Compon. He's not happy, but he's accepted his fate. And we're going to have a long period of five on three coming up here for the Stingrays. So Compon goes to the box. 17 joins 71. The Stingrays will go five on three. They've got time to work with. Galbraith, he's got a big shot if he chooses to use it. Knox, the puck just bobbled on him. Galbraith. This time he will shoot and it was blocked by Mason. Just shakes his leg, that one must have stung a little bit. Davis, Galbraith. Knox, Galbraith. Lozon swaps over. Fired across and it was kicked away. Lozon, side of the goal, fired in by Matty Davis! The power play does work for the Rays. And they lead for the first time tonight. They were persistent. And Davis was all alone, low down, a position that used to be occupied by Jeremy Tendler for so many years. We've seen him score from there. It's Matty Davis' turn tonight. As Chewbacca committed himself. So Peacock is out of the box, but it's still five on four. Here comes Galbraith, trying to move in, Havarto! Two in a matter of seconds. And the whole arena has come to life. Braith made it. Cavato couldn't miss it. And the Giants got one last moment. They were looking for Sawada. He's gone offside. He can't get involved in this play. And after a little glance at the clock, Turcotte is just going to take the puck behind the goal, kill the period, and ensure that the Stingrays goes into the intermission with a two-goal lead. Giants are trying to avoid three straight losses on the road. And they've certainly got the capabilities to get back into this game. There's no doubt about that. They're a talented team. They've had their chances. And you just know they'll get more as this goes along. Frederick and Lloyd were having words as the face is getting ready to take place. And then they tangled and Frederick lost a glove. The Stingrays... Being so short bench, they can't afford to take penalties. They can't afford to have any players off the ice for long periods of time on fighting calls or any misconducts. They must be disciplined. They're doing a fine job on a week-by-week -week basis. Glad to have them on board and glad to have you. And thank you, Josh, for your very kind comments about the webcast tonight. Opportunity here, Westgarth scores! Alone in the slot. And the long road back for the Giants has begun. It's 3-2 now. And the former NHL man, Westgarth, has his say. Additional assist for Peacock as well. The Giants are in again. Lloyd has seen his shot saved by Brown. He's not happy. Frederick, I don't think he's going to get involved. 
Giants are trying to rile the Stingrays. That's Brown's biggest save for a while. That'll be classed as a scoring chance. Oh, and Peacock just has his stick lifted, and then as he turns around, he catches Davis with the high stick. That's a little unfortunate for Peacock. I don't think there was a lot of intent in there, but you must be in control of your stick at all times. And that's the hustle of Matty Davis that's drawn that penalty. Adam Keefe looks to be in a little bit of pain as he comes to the bench. Compon is trying to play keep away. He's trying to get a wrap around in, and Brown has kicked out his left leg, made the stop, and covered the puck as the Giants go searching for a shorthander. Into a little bit of trouble. Oh, and that one's awkwardly hit Chilcott on the side of the head. He's alert enough to try and stay alive, but moving out front, and the shot from Compon is saved by Brown. Puck is at the side of the net, and it's caught underneath a whole load of bodies. Nervous moments. The Stingrays trying to keep possession. He really has used the body well tonight. Been called for a penalty once. And now Lozon's through. Can he make it happen? Oh, it's just been knocked away. Is there a penalty coming on the Giants? There is. Brookwell's going to be called for this. It's a hooking call. And if he didn't get the shot away, is that not a penalty shot rather than a penalty? Although, to be honest, the Stingrays might be happier with two minutes of man advantage. Brookwell is going to sit for a couple of minutes. And the Stingrays will have the power play. Davis throws his arms out wide, but there's no call. And the Giants are all going to come streaming forward. Short-handed opportunity. And the save is made by Brown, and it needed to be. Giants want a hooking call of their own. The bench isn't happy. Chance to move seventh in the table with games in hand on those around them. If they can take the points tonight. The netminder is pulled. Chewback is on the bench. We are six on four for one minute, and the Giants win the draw. Sandrock blasts it, and it's way off target. Elfring. Giants can't afford to be too patient, they haven't got a lot of time. But they have got six men out there. Oh, and Compon's shot and didn't get anything behind it. And that pass sends Elfring out of the zone. A few more seconds will tick away. Lozon won't press up too high. Peacock, cross to the far corner, Shields is to it. Westgarth shot, Brown saved. The Stingrays will move it away, and there won't be icing, of course. Stingrays are short-handed, Lozon will chase after Westgarth. 15 seconds. Forward to centre ice, picked up by the Stingrays. No offside. And the countdown begins as the shot goes just wide. And the whole Stingrays have waited 1,484 days. And at attempt 22, the Stingrays are winners against the Belfast Giants by three goals to two. 21 straight defeats, all in regulation, in all competitions. That streak is no more. The Stingrays are winners on a Saturday night. Now they will move above the Coventry Blaze into seventh place in the Elite League table. They resisted everything that the Giants had to throw at them. 